Spotify has announced it will stop paying artists for a particular type of stream that we'll be talking about in today's video. What's up guys, this is Omari, and this is No Nonsense Music Marketing, the number one place for music business and industry advice for indie artists. If you're not subscribed already, click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get updates on every new video that we drop. All right, so Spotify has said that it will stop paying artists for a particular type of stream. Uh, we'll go over why this will be problematic in the future for artists, and it's not sustainable long term. Uh, so Spotify recently said that they will withhold royalties generated through artificial streaming for artists. All right, so it doesn't sound too bad, right? Uh, on the surface level, it doesn't sound too bad. But uh, the problem with this comes into play whenever Spotify wrongly deems a stream to be fake whenever it is real. So if you think about it, uh, we talked on this channel about how it's not all that hard to spot fake streams, right? Um, but even then, like we've given that information, like we, for, for instance, uh, we used to talk about how bad playlisters would always have streams coming from like Buffalo, New York. It would always be like one random location and a lot of artists were getting fooled by this, so that's why we made the video. So since we made that video, uh, not as many people uh, do the Buffalo, New York scam. They like try to go for other random locations. Like sometimes it'll be like Sacramento, or uh, it'll it'll still look off, but you have to be more knowledgeable to know that that stream is fake. Um, I say that to say you have to know that some of these like bot playlisters can be crafty. Like they may know enough to like try to fool you and try to fool Spotify. And then out of that, uh, Spotify may just, let's say Spotify is struggling financially. Not saying they will do this, saying that it'd be possible um, that they would wrongly deem a stream to be fake when in fact it is real. Um, so even, even though like we know a lot of these bad things that uh, fake playlisters do or people who are selling fake streams, uh, that's not to say that, you know, 100% of the time uh, Spotify is going to get it right that this is a fake stream versus a real stream. So you could have, you know, 10,000 listeners come in through a promotion. Let's say you get like some random fiber uh, promotion. And 10,000 streams come in and let's, let's say, for instance, that this was actually a real promo, but then Spotify only pays you for 5,000 of the streams. Who's to say what was actually real and who's to say what was fake? Now, you're going to be better off going with a promotion company such as ours, not even being biased, just, just such as ours that you can talk to the people. You, they have a phone number on their website that you can call them and ask questions um they have a text messaging a live chat on their website you can talk to a person essentially like if you if you never see any of these people at events conferences um you can't talk to them you don't see them on videos they don't show their face on videos uh it's not a good look like you should know the people you're working with even if you like i'm not saying that people can just like call me at three o'clock uh, on Wednesdays and they'll talk to me, right? Uh, you'll talk to my staff, you'll talk to uh, uh, my team members at the company, but you will talk to a person that is knowledgeable uh, about the products and services of the company. Uh, and it, it won't just be like they're just trying to sell you something. They'll just be there to help you. Uh, if you can't find that at a company, that's bad sign number one. Um, so if they're just trying to sell you something. If it's too cheap, to, if it's too good to be true, it's probably not true. Um, and we've gone over a bunch of the other tips on how to spot fake playlists in the first place. Even if you're trying to go, let's say you're trying to go directly through a playlister and not through a company. We've shown you those tips how to spot those fake streams. Um, but even stating all this, it's looking into the future. This is going to be, this is all solved one simple way, which we mentioned before, and I want you guys to be knowledgeable about it um, so that when it comes, you don't hesitate. You don't try to hang on to the old way of doing things. You hop over to the new way, which is if people had to pay per stream, this solves literally everything. If it costs one cent 
to to stream something or those half a cent or whatever artists want to want to charge somebody people are not going to be sending fake streams on an app when they have to pay for it uh like if you have to d- pay say that the algorithm on this new app uh is that you set your parameters that any song that's one cent and under it'll just automatically stream for you and then let's say that there was a song that's like two cents per stream or five cents or something uh maybe it sends you like a prompt that like hey you're about to play this song that's five cents a stream do you want to play it uh or something like that something along those lines fraud goes out the window because everybody has to pay per stream versus I can sign up for this free account and just hit the hit the play button. Um, that I mean, obviously people still try to sell these fake streams, but once you have to pay for the stream, it just goes away. Um, and most people, as we went over in a previous video, don't actually listen to enough music anyway. That if songs were one cents per stream, uh, they wouldn't spend ten bucks a month anyway, and more money would go directly to the artist. So. This solves so many problems um, that I like. I don't want not. I don't want to do it myself. Um, I'd be more comfortable even like partnering with somebody to do this because I know that developing an app like this will cost a lot of money, um, a lot of time and effort. That's why I've like kind of given it out on this channel. Um, I'm not really afraid of anybody stealing the idea because I, I want it to be built, even if I don't have that much equity in it or I have no equity in it and uh, artists can just, you know, um, sign up for the app and it just makes everything better for the artist. I'm fine with my idea being out there because I want this to be built. Uh, so that is the actual solution to the fake streams. Uh, we can make more and more videos about how to spot the fake streams which are helpful and you know which we will continue to do but the way to stop this is pay pay per stream um and it's not i don't want people to get the idea that you'd you'd have an app that just like every time you play a song you have to be like paying uh you know one cent and you swipe your card or you punch your card in that's not it you would just have your ten dollars a month go in and then it would just like deduct it whenever the song's being played. And at the end of the month, you know, it can just send the money to, let's say that you you pick an artist every month that you want the remaining, let's say you have $5 left. You just send that artist. It can be like your most streamed artist over the month. You would send that to them. And obviously the company who's working on it probably just takes a cut because they have to run their operations, right? Uh, but they would just take a cut out of, any stream that comes in, maybe 20 cents a stream, and then 20 cents of that that donation at the end of the month, um, it would be a fantastic system. Uh, so keep an eye out on, because we still see artists come through us. They, they may have gone through a different company first, and then they come to us, and they have these streams on their profile, and it looks nice, but then we look through them, and they're bad streams. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, I know a lot of distributors because we've been talking to um, distribution companies, not like DistroKid or TuneCore, the people who actually are behind um, the technologies of companies like that. Um, they have the the technology on their back end that will show them how many streams are real uh, based on Spotify uh, and what they say, how many streams are real and how many streams are fake. So whether it shows up that way on your profile or not, you're not getting paid for those fake streams anyway. So you may as well not do them. Uh, So that's it for this video, guys. If you would like us to uh, make any other videos on this, I think we've made the most comprehensive videos, in our opinion, on uh, on this subject. So go look through our other videos on fake playlisting, bad streams, uh, so on and so forth. And uh, click that like button and the uh, notification bell so you get updates on every new video when you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.